Uh, abstract brainwaves, game genie in the beanie We ain't on the same stage, leveled up uh, The epitome of technique, can't survive in my current thought Other yellow hat guy here, back with another video And it's Captain Sensation Yep, working on some shirts, maybe, maybe not, I don't know But let's jump into some Pokemon Go, yes I know April rolled around and I put out my video and it was a couple days uh, right after what had happened had happened and then it was April Fools and Niantic not to be left out got in on the April Fools really but not really like maybe the whole rating from home thing was an April Fool but I don't think so I think they just need more time they just put that tweet out there to keep you encouraged that there was still going to be stuff that they were going to do for the game so that players like you and I still look forward to trying to enjoy the game while this pandemic is going on, okay? So, that being said, what do they have, okay? Current raid bosses, and we'll start with this. Alolan, Vulpix, Timber, Temple, Clank, and Cubchoo. Cubchoo, you probably need that Ice Lore for that, the Glacial Lore. Uh, outside of that one and Temple, everything else can be shiny. So the next tier, tier 2, you got Golduck, Sneasel, Mantine, Galay, Galaylee, excuse me, and uh, Luminium. Tier 3, you've got Alolan Raichu, you've got Starmie, Vaporeon, Crowdon, and Abomasnow. Now both Sneasel and Alolan Raichu can be shiny if you don't know. Tier 4, you've got Blastoise, Polyrath, Alolan Marowak, Lapras and Feraligator. And then the tier 5 is our new guy, and that's uh, Lauterus. And it's been brought to my attention that all three of those forms can be have like an animal form. So what I anticipate is after this form, hey, Summer, they roll around with those animal forms. If they don't do that and they do switch it up to something else, well, we're going to have whatever we have then. Now, that brings us to the next question. Here we are in the middle of spring, and I was under the impression that our EX raid would change, and it was going to, to Genesect. No, not Shyman or, you know, we're still not getting Arceus yet. Maybe Arceus was for GoFest. Arceus or Shaman would have been for GoFest with Genesect being our EX raid, but because of the way things are right now, not getting that. So, what what do we have to look forward for? Well, the rest of this month, you've got a Lowen Executor, who is already shiny. But now you've got the Irregular Executor, who is shiny. So I said the Lowen Executor, just to mention that it's shiny, but... I don't know if that's coming back around, but Executor is finally in his regular form going to be shiny. So, back to the April Fools, what did Niantic do? They gave you the Tricksters. There was some kind of tricky kind of event going on. And let's look at it right now. So, from April 1st to the 8th. So, there's a couple more days left of this. Uh, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Or, excuse me, April 1st to April 7th. And it's from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. your local time. So you've got Ghastly, Haunter, Voltorb, Sudowoodo, Apium, Croagunk, and Fungus. All of those are out there in these eggs, and uh, a lot of them could be Ditto. But we'll get to that in a second. Sudowoodo, Apium, and Croagunk are the shinies that you'll see a lot more of as opposed to the Ghastly. Sudowoodo being new as well as Croagunk. Sudowoodo having this light brown kind of shiny look and Croagunk having that nice mint green look, okay? So in this graphic here, the Sudowoodo looks kind of the same, but the tree bushes are, I think they're red. So uh, prior to that, Bonsly could be shiny and then you could evolve it to Sudowoodo, but now this is just straight up Sudowoodo, okay? Uh, evidently, Sudowoodo is a trickster. It's not even a grass Pokemon. It's a rock Pokemon, so maybe that's why it's a tricky event, okay? And your five-kilometer eggs, you can get APM, Why Not, Bonsley, Croagunk, and this new one, uh, Stunfisk. 
And that one was new to me. It took me a while to find that. I had to have an excuse to go out groceries. And I found one in the wild. So we'll showcase that shortly. It was nice to finally get that one. Now, uh, these guys are appearing in your uh, screenshots. So how you normally do a screenshot, for example, here, here's one of my uh, Apion popping up. Instead of Smeargle, who you normally get, you're going to get either Apion or Crobagon. Now, they can appear on the screen and also be shiny. So by the time this video's up, you probably have one more day or you probably have the rest of that day and one more following that. So you've got, you're going to have 48 hours to get in on this. And it shouldn't be that hard. The problem is, can you actually get out, you know? So uh, we've got that. And again, here's the crow gunk. I'm showing you that. And here's me getting this uh, stun fisk. Now, it looks like a flat piece of paper. The picture Niantic tweeted made you think it could be a bevy of Pokemon. Well, not really a bevy, just a couple. Some people told me it was Mantine, but no. Uh, it's Stunfisk, and uh, I finally got it. It was a weather-boosted one at that. So here we go. April's got these spotlight hours, and it's pretty much in line with how they've done it before, except certain Pokemon on Tuesdays will give you... You know, twice as much XP. The following weekend, or I'm sorry, the following Tuesday, Magnemite is the one, and you get twice as candy, twice as much candy. 21st of April, it's Wobbuffet, twice the candy for transferring it. And then lastly, you have Pidgey on there, who, well, I can't really see what it does. But uh, yeah, Stunfisk was pretty neat to look at. Uh, oh, here we go. You get twice as much XP for Pidgey. I'm not sure who's still looking for XP for Pidgey, but wow, those were the days, weren't they? Those were the days. So here we are at the High Point Greenway doing some more dog walking. This is the cutest dog ever. I'm just showing these because, you know, this is my life now. <laughs> the exercise, you know, I've got the Wii Fit on the Wii and Wii U, and it's still telling me I'm fat after all this time, you know, and fat is not so much, hey, I'm, you know, overweight, it's your BMI, and my BMI is not where it needs to be, bad posture, spinal problems, this, that, and a third, uh, but they insult you, they let you know, hey, you're pretty much fat, and so then it gets put away, so why was I messing with that anyway, well, you need exercise, and on the Switch, and this is not an advertisement, They've got that Ring Fit Adventure, which is grossly being scalped right now. But it supposedly gives you a really good workout to where you're sweating and everything. I'm not saying the Wii Fit didn't. I'm just saying a lot of people by this point have either sold theirs off. It's an attic. They got, it's in a, you can find them in Goodwill for like five bucks. I dusted mine off with the intent of uh, really using it. And, well, let's just get back to Pokemon. So, uh... We were talking Ditto, right? Ditto's been showing up everywhere, and if I can get to the graphic I have for it, I wanted to let you know the different uh, opportunities you have to get them. Okay, so here we go. Ditto disguises. You've got Weedle, Paris, Venonat, Voltorb, Hoot Hoot, Lebia. I can't pronounce that, but it's pretty much the ladybug, right? Spinarak, Hoppit, Remoraid, Seedot, Whimsor, Skitty, Gulpin, Nummel, Badoof, and Fungus. Fungus, Voltor being the new ones. But that's a lot of Pokemon that can be Ditto. And it's quite often, you know, some people are still on that Find a Ditto quest. This is your opportunity to move past that. Uh, and in a time where Pokeballs are scarce, even though the gifts are giving you a whole bunch, you're going to need them for these Dittos because... Uh, let me tell you, they break out only to find out it's a ditto. And then uh, once you realize it's a ditto, you look back and you're like, how many balls did I waste on this thing? Oh, and it's also zero stars with bad IVs? A collective sigh, and we're all dittoing that sigh. Okay, okay. I know it was a bad joke. So uh, that's where we're at with everything so far. I don't know what else is coming up after this. I think that was everything 
worthy of mentioning. Did you get that mint green Teddy Ursa? I know it's out in the wild now. Everybody has a chance to get that. I haven't seen any Teddy Ursas. Maybe they appear after this event is over with. Uh, I have not gotten any good shinies, but that changed. That changed. Now, as my luck works, I typically get shinies. I get them after the event. So what I mean by that is I've been questing for Growlithe since it dropped. I had to have that shiny tiger, cat, dog, whatever he is. I had to have it, okay? And I think I've clicked on Growlithe to do shiny checks more than any other Pokemon in the game. Real talk. I, I believe that's the case. At least it feels like it. I don't know if there's some kind of metric in here in the game that you can see. I know there's the encounters where you can see how many times you've seen these Pokemon. But I digress. I've only been looking at Growlithe for that reason. So, you know, I've looked, but maybe not thrown balls at them. Where there's others where I just tried to catch them, you know. Uh, that being said, we finally... The day finally came. Went to Walmart to get some groceries. And as I was leaving, I popped open the game. There were two Growlithe there at the mouth of the exit. One of them was shiny. So I know my facial expression now doesn't show how elated I was. But I was leaving the parking lot. It's not like I was going to be able to record that or have my yellow hat on or anything like that anyway. But just know Growlithe is off the list now. Growlithe is finally... I finally caught him. And, you know, I was like, man, this dog walking isn't paying off. There's no shinies. Well, after I walked the dog another time, there's a shiny. So maybe I got to, you know, walk a bear to get Teddy Ursa. I, I don't know. I don't think that's a good idea. But uh, if it helps, we'll see what we can do, you know. But speaking of tigers, what are you guys watching on TV, Netflix? Let me know in the comments. See you in the next one. Captain Sensation!